Hey, all you chickens out there. You ever think about all the muscles you use while doing the chicken dance? Well, today we're going to teach you. Fluff up your feathers because it's going to be a wild ride. The shoulder girdle consists of the sternum, the clavicle, and the scapula. The motions of the shoulder girdle are elevation, depression, Protraction, retraction, upward rotation, downward rotation, and that's all. The shoulder girdle muscles are the trapezius, which is broken into the upper, middle, and lower, the levator scapula, the rhomboids, the serratus anterior, and the pectoralis minor. The shoulder joint consists of the scapula and humerus. The motions of the shoulder joint are flexion, extension, hyperextension. Seriously, again? Abduction, adduction, horizontal abduction, horizontal adduction, medial rotation, and lateral rotation. The shoulder joint muscles include the deltoid, which is broken up into the anterior, middle, and posterior, the pectoralis major, latissimus dorsi, teres major, teres minor, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, subscapularis, and coracobrachialis. The elbow joint consists of the humerus, the radius, and the ulna, and the motions are flexion and extension. The muscles of the elbow are the bicep brachii, the brachialis, the brachioradialis, and the tricep brachii. The forearm consists of the radius and the ulna. The motions include pronation and supination. The muscles of the forearm include the biceps brachii, the pronator quadratus, the pronator teres, and the supinator. The wrist consists of the carpals and the radius. The wrist motions include flexion, extension, radial deviation, and ulnar deviation. The wrist muscles include the flexor carpi ulnaris, the extensor carpi radialis longus, the extensor carpi radialis brevis, the flexor carpi radialis, and the extensor carpi ulnaris. The hand has multiple joints. The CMC joint is a plane joint that allows gliding. There are zero degrees of freedom. The MCP joint of the thumb is a saddle joint with two degrees of freedom. The thumb motions include extension, flexion, abduction, adduction, and the accessory motions are opposition and reposition. The MCP joint of the phalanges is a condylite joint with two degrees of freedom. The motions of the phalanges are flexion, extension, abduction, and adduction. The PIP and DIP joints of the phalanges are hinge joints with one degree of freedom. The, these motions include flexion and extension. The IP joint of the thumb is a hinge joint with one degree of freedom. The motions include flexion and extension. The extrinsic muscles of the hand include the extensor digitis minimi, extensor digitorum, flexor pollicis longus, flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor digitorum profundus, abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis, extensor pollicis longus, and extensor indicus. Mm -hmm. The intrinsic muscles of the hand include the adductor pollicis, opponent pollicis, dorsal interossei, palmar interossei, Abductor digiti minimi, 
flexor pollicis brevis, abductor pollicis brevis, the lumbricals, flexor digiti minimi, and opponent digiti minimi. Hey all you chickens out there. There's three contraction types. The first one is concentric. This is where your muscle shortens and you're going against gravity. The second one is eccentric, when your muscle is lengthening and you're slowing down gravity. And the last one is isometric, where the muscle stays the same length. There are four phases of the chicken dance. These include phase one, feet cans. For the starting position of phase one, the shoulder girdle is upwardly rotated, the shoulder is abducted, the elbow is flexed, the forearm is pronated, the wrist is neutral, the thumb is abducted, and the fingers are adducted and extended. Phase two. Chicken arms. <laughs> For the starting position of phase two, the shoulder girdle is upwardly rotated, the shoulder is abducted. <laughs> Get out of here, you stupid chicken. The elbow is flat. The forearm is neutral. The wrist is neutral. The thumb is opposed. And the fingers are flat. Phase three. Bookieing. <laughs> For the starting position of phase three, we are going to focus on the right arm. The shoulder girdle is neutral. There is no change. The shoulder is hyperextended. The elbow is flexed. The forearm is in mid position. The wrist is neutral. The thumb is opposed. And the fingers are flexed. Phase four. So crappy clapping. <laughs> For phase four, the starting position of the shoulder girdle is neutral. The shoulder is also neutral. The elbow is flexed. The forearm is in mid position. The wrist is slightly flexed. The thumb is extended, and the fingers are also extended. For the ending position of phase one, the shoulder girdle is upwardly rotated, the shoulder is abducted, the elbow is flexed, the forearm is pronated, the wrist is neutral, the thumb is opposed, and the fingers are adducted and flexed. For the ending position of phase two, the shoulder girdle is neutral, the shoulder is flexed, the elbow is flexed, the forearm is neutral, the wrist is neutral, the thumb is opposed, and the fingers are flat. <laughs> For the ending position of phase three, we are going to focus on the right arm. The shoulder girdle is neutral, the shoulder is flexed, the elbow is flexed, the forearm is in mid position, the wrist is neutral, the thumb is opposed, and the fingers are flexed. For the ending position of phase four, the shoulder girdle is neutral, the shoulder is ne neutral, the elbow is flexed, the forearm is in mid position, the wrist is slightly extended, the thumb is extended, and the fingers are also extended.